Hello and welcome everyone to the next episode on SAP Analytics Cloud Training with anubavtrainings.com. In this video of SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorial, we will talk about how exception aggregation works. So many of you who are working on business intelligence or data analytics, you may have heard about aggregation where we kind of aggregate data, maybe by means of calculating some mean, max or maybe but what about exception aggregation? So those who have worked on SQL programming, you would already be aware that whenever we do apply an aggregation, we also have this group by clause. And in the group by clause, we can mention any of the dimension. An exception aggregation in SAP Analytics Cloud also works the same way. So when you apply a normal aggregation, system is just going to do the sum mean max but when you apply an exception aggregation, what exactly system does? It allows you to choose a dimension and based on that dimension, you will be able to aggregate the data. So basically what you're telling the system is to do a group by clause to group the data based on a certain dimension. So let's take a look at a practical example in the system. So what I've got here is um, population data of different countries and you can see here we have all the countries and their respective population data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply uh, this, this on a model and then we are going to also look at how can we use exception aggregation to calculate the distribution of all the population um, over the different countries. So what I'm going to do is we will have total population divide by number of countries. So if I just quickly also calculate the same on the Excel sheet, what you would realize over here, if I just come down, just quickly do a sum over here for all my data set. And so total population is about 7.77 billion. And I would say, please calculate this divide by total number of countries as 236 countries. So I've got here about 3.29 billion per country is the average um, if you just wanted to do that that way. So I, how do you achieve this um, in SAP Analytics Cloud? And now you have an option to choose for uh, exception aggregation per country. Now similarly assume that here you also have data for regions like Asia Pacific, EMEA, North America and so on. So you would have about just five regions. So in that case you would want it to do calculate the distribution of average population per region, then it's going to be very simple formula. This divided by four regions. So it's going to come a different value. So depending on your dimension, the value is changing. The distribution is changing. And to achieve that now we are going to switch back and I've already created a data model using this data set in our SAP Analytics Cloud. I'm going to switch over to the account dimension. And now we are going to define an exception aggregation over here based on country. So let's come back and quickly add up here a new um, a new um, member. So I'm going to say population exception aggregation EA. And what I'm going to do is give a description exception aggregation example and now give my formula. So in my formula, I'm going to use my measure. So my measure here is the population. So let's switch it over to the formula builder and we're going to put here population value. On this particular uh, measure, I would like to apply the formula and now I can just switch it over on the right side to just look at here uh, an option called exception aggregation. So we're going to calculate an average so you can see there are different options to choose from. We're going to go with average. And now the moment I do that, you see it's mandatory to select a dimension based on which uh, this will be calculated. So I can choose here maybe region or country or average age. Uh, are there different um, dimensions? Of course, I can choose it, uh, choose it over here from. And then based on that, uh, system is going to calculate my new measure. So let's choose as country. So I'm going to choose my country as my dimension for this exception aggregation and that's it. We are done. Let's save our data model and we can go straight ahead to create a story. So I'm going to go back, create a story 
and select my data model which is population data model so I'm gonna switch it over to my model go to models and I have my population data model over here and now we're just going to add a very simple table in our story so let's switch it over to the story part I'm gonna delete this one and I can say unaboutrainings.com exception aggregation example. And what we will do is just add a table over here. And in this table, I will just quickly go ahead and add my measure as total population, of course. And then you can see my exception aggregation is available here as example. I choose that up and say OK. And what you see here the age or sorry the total population per country let's also bring it up uh, over here the number of countries quickly so I'm going to go back and add a chart as a data point so we are going to count the countries so I'm gonna go and add a new measure and let's say create calculation and we go with an aggregation for some of all the count all the countries so please count my dimension and I choose here country some say number of countries country count and say okay and you're gonna get your number of country counts over here so there are 235 countries over here in the system so if you can just also calculate uh, let me open quickly the calculator and say total population is 77779670034 divided by 235 and there you go exact match you can see system is calculating here this as your population based on the number of countries as an exception aggregation so that's how you can add exception aggregation at the model level remember exception aggregations are created at the model level they are specifically we use them in planning models where you wanted to check the distribution of the data across different dimensions and this is also typically a certification question at what level do you create your exception aggregation in SAP analytics cloud so the answer is at model level so like this we will cover all the different possible certification questions and helpful questions during the course. So feel free to subscribe our course on SAP Analytics Cloud. If you like this video, give a thumbs up on the video and share it with your colleagues. And I will see you in the next video.